Flatty helminth means flatworm. Flatty comes from the Greek word flat, and helminth comes from the Greek word worm. Flatty helminth. In the platy helminthus phylum, there are 20,000 species. Reproduction mostly sexual as hermaphrodites. Mostly they feed on animals and other smaller life forms. Some species occur in all major habitats, including many as parasites of other animals. They are bilaterally symmetrical. The body contains no internal cavity, possesses a blind gut, has protonephritial excretory systems instead of an anus. How does the flatworm adapt to its environment? Has normally a nervous system of longitudinal fibers rather than a net, generally dorsoventrally flattened. They have thick body containing three layers of cells to protect against defensive mechanism. Brain, central nervous system, digestive and excretory systems make them more efficient organism in conserving energy. They obtain and transport oxygen to all cells through simple diffusion. When the oxygen is allowed to pass through their membrane, it allows them to live in a low oxygen environment. What makes platyhelminthus different than other phylums? Platyhelminthus go through a process called cephalization, in which they form a head. They can produce gametes asexually as well as sexually using the process of stem cells. An advanced trait comparing to other phylums that body hemorrhages are able to receive and respond to information from the environment. This allows them to control the concentration of their bodily fluids and respond better to the environment, which helps them live better. Flatworms are mainly divided by their habitats, as flatworm lives as either free living organism in marines, freshwater, and terrestrial habitats or as parasitic organism. There are four classes of flatworms including Turbillaria, Monogenea, Trematoda, and Cystoidea. Turbillaria consists mostly of free-living non-parasitic flatworms which live in water and can live on their own. Monogenea and Trematoda consist of parasitic flatworms living inside or on the surface of other animals. Monogenea parasites usually use marine hosts, while trematoda use vertebrates as hosts. The class Cestodia consists of tapeworms, which are also parasites. And yes, these are the tapeworms that can grow into a meter long and can exist on your brains, and they will stay on your brain. They will, their main habitats is just they live on intestine of the host and because they don't have their own digestive system, they absorb the nutrients. And because of this, they have no locomotive system.